All right, what's going on? Start the video off. So I have uh, a few things I want to show here. Um, oh, what do I got? So I went to the comic book store and I picked up a few things, just my monthly grab of stuff I read. And um, I can show that off real quick. I, some of the stuff's kind of neat, especially with the, the covers and whatnot that they're doing. But um, um, hold on a second. So here is uh, Uncanny X Force number 32. This is Detective Comics number 13. Um, I'm a little bit behind reading this, but hoping to get back and catch up on it. Some good storylines going on, I'm noticing. So. Here's Justice League number zero. These are the zero issues. Looks like there's Shazam on the cover here. I haven't even looked at these yet. Um, here's Star Trek. Star Trek number number 13 from IDW. And here's a cool cover from Batman. This is um, Batman number 13, Death of the Family. It's got the Joker. It has this kind of cool cover here. You got the Joker and then you got the Batman. Really cool. Um, and then we have Justice League number 13. And Detective Comics number one. Oh, this is the annual. I grabbed this. And The Dark Knight zero. And then I picked up a new title. And, you know, The Avengers number one. Um, it looks like they're combining X-Men and Avengers. Actually, there's a few titles. There's the Uncanny Avengers, which has X-Men and Avengers in it. And there's, this is the regular Avengers, which has some X-Men characters in this also. And this is like a bi-monthly, so twice a month. Um, I don't know if I'm going to add this one to my pull list. Twice a month is fucking ten bucks a month, you know, for just this one title, basically. So, um, we'll see. I'm going to check it out. Number one issue... We'll see where that goes. Um, and then I also picked up, um, you know, Previews Magazine, which basically it's everything going on in comics. Um, and there's all, the, all kinds of other bullshit in here, too. Um, I don't know where to put this. Ugh. But one thing that stood out in the trading card section here is featured item Batman Legends uh, trading cards. Um, it's like a 61 card set, kind of celebrating the 75 years of Batman and DC Comics. This comes out pretty soon. Um, I never heard of this company. It's called Cryptozoic. So I went to their website, and they've got all kinds of card sets available. Uh, a lot of you know unique stuff. I think like Walking Dead and Fringe and um, other things. You know, non-sport. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I think this comes out in the next month or so. Um, and there's also a dedicated binder for that card set, too. I also noticed over here the, the new Topps Baseball 2013. Uh, I don't know if these were going to come through okay, but they look a lot like last year's cards. Where's the base card? Well, anyway, you could find these online. Like, here's the base card. So if you search 2013 Topps, you'll see. And maybe many people have already seen them. Oh, here we go. Here's more. This is the trading card section of... Of previews so this thing is like uh, a buck if you buy it at the comic store there's all kinds of good stuff in here um, I mean, they have comics cards there's like t-shirts and shit which I will never I'll probably never buy t-shirts but um, action figures you know all kinds of crazy shit um, and so it's you know, there's books and then they kind of go through and highlight um, you know, uh, comic book releases that are coming out in the next couple of months. Like, here's Transformers. Here's Kiss. Uh, number seven. So they break it down by... Here's Turtles. They break it down by publisher. Like, that was IDW. And uh, here's the DC section. Um, so, anyhow... Um, there's Avengers number one. I think that's a variant cover, because that doesn't look anything like my cover. So that's previews, and it says it's like five bucks. But if you if you get it at the comic book store, it's only a dollar uh, or ninety nine cents. So I just figured, yeah, add it. You know, it's not like it's a magazine with a lot of editorial content; just a lot of product information, stuff that's coming out. Uh, and also, 
new. Put this. I picked up an obscure Tony Gwynn rookie card. Not really his rookie card, but let me turn this down a little bit. So what I have here is a 2002 Don Russ Originals Tony Gwynn rated rookie card. And uh, I'm a big fan of shit like this where they kind of do what ifs and things. And, um, it's very similar to, in fact, it's from the same series where I already have, I've got this uh, Mattingly card that I bought a while ago. You know, 82 Don Russ Don Mattingly. So there's Tony Gwynn. And there's also a Ryan Sandberg card I wouldn't mind picking up from the same set. 2002 Don Russ Originals. Um, they have a lot of what if rookies. I've got the Dwight Gooden ones, uh, but they also have like Roger Clemens and, and Kirby Puckett on 84 Don Russ designs. Uh, so they're kind of neat. Uh, if you could find them, they're not, not too expensive. And this was like $3. So Tony Gwynn, 82 Don Russ pseudo rookie card. And then the guy that I bought it from threw this in for the hell of it. But I mean, I need one of these like I need in a hole in my head. Um, I've got several of these, but it's an 86 Fleer Tony Gwynn. So, uh, that's that. And then I'll save this for another video I'll make today. But finally, thinking I'm going to get around to busting 1990 Leaf Baseball. This is, um, this is Series 1. And this particular series has basically the majority of the Hall of Fame cards and then the Sammy Sosa rookie. Um, and then Series 2 is going to be the Frank Thomas box and then a couple other Hall of Famers thrown in there as well. But uh, this should be fun. I've been sitting on this for over six months now. I figure, what the hell, time to bust it out. So stay tuned for that. And uh, that's it. See you next time.